All right, so here's a quick video to tell you guys how I got started online. I had to look back to even see when this was, but in 1999, I was selling no-slip guitar picks. I'd started a little company called Get a Grip Guitar Picks. And I still have a few of these laying around, but basically they were guitar picks. And as you can see, the top part was coated in a gritty kind of rubbery substance. And they were pretty cool. I mean, I actually sold quite a few, but there was no PayPal in 1999 and it was a pain to get payments. And just, you know, I just kind of got bored of it after a while. So I got out of this and then really didn't do anything on the internet. You know, I had a couple of, of offline businesses that I was working on. And so I didn't really fool with anything, I guess, until 2000 one maybe or 2002 and I wanted to build cat furniture for my cat now if you've never seen this this stuff is super expensive I mean what you see in the picture here would be 200 250 dollars and I just wasn't going to pay that so I got to look in and realized you know shoot I could build one of these with scrap carpet and scrap wood that I picked up at local job sites construction home building sites so I started building these and I ended up building uh I mean, I probably built eight or 10 of them. I gave away some, built some of them twice, gave away some of them, but I documented the entire process. Now I didn't have a video camera back then, but I did have a digital camera and I could talk and basically made a recording kind of like what you're watching now, except I had to do it a whole different way. There wasn't software like this back then. So it took quite a while to put one of these together, but I documented the entire process for each one and I put it on CD. And here's a picture of the five that I built. And I sold these on eBay and it was the only place I sold them to begin with. And I would sell five cat tree plans on eBay for $9 and 95 cents plus shipping. And I would ship a CD out with these plans on it. Well, on any given day, Monday through Friday, I would sell at least 10 of these. So I was making a hundred dollars a day. In addition to my other businesses on Saturday and Sunday, I would make even more than that. I mean, there was some Saturdays and Sundays, Sundays, especially, I guess people were on eBay looking for stuff, you know, that I would make, you know, two or $300 selling these things. It was just nuts at the time. So after selling them on eBay, I set up a website. I had cat dash tree dash plans.com and was selling them on a website and on eBay. And basically I can't remember if the lady approached me or bought plans and then approached me. I think she bought plans, but anyway, Ended up selling the website, selling the plans and everything. And now the market's just super competitive. And that's one thing you'll learn about the internet. What makes money today may not make money tomorrow. But at the time I was making good money with all of it. She made me an offer that I was happy with. And so I sold this. Now I don't even know if anybody's selling plans. They may just give them away. I know there's a lot of free plans out there. But anyway, that got me to thinking. So what else did I know about? What did I have experience about? Or what did I want to learn about? Or you know, what did I already know? So if you look at the pictures here, there's four things that I ended up making products for. And when I say products, nothing like the lawn care stuff I have now. These were just simple reports and stuff. But basically, I had the equipment, was involved in the, uh, involved in the lawn care industry. The flamingos you see, I had a business called Flamingo A Friend. And we basically put out flamingos, cows, ducks, pigs, crows. We had all kind of little plastic animals. And we would put like a flock of these in people's yards with a yard sign for their birthday or anniversary or whatever. And back several years ago, this was really popular. I made a lot of money doing that. And then the picture you see on the right, the trailer with a water tank, when I was 18, 19 years old, I had a mobile auto detailing business and we did, you know, I mean, we stayed really busy at the time. And then the picture below is of a guy in the construction industry. Well, up until a couple of years ago, I'd been a licensed home builder and had a handyman business and just did all kinds of stuff like that. So I knew these four things, you know, like the back of my hand. So I decided to create a small report for these things and sell them on eBay. And out of all the things I ended up doing, the construction and the uh, lawn care ended up doing the best. So I'd sold off the cat tree plan site and I got rid of the Flamingo A Friend franchise. I actually sold it. The guy bugged me to death to buy my franchise from me. So I sold it and I ended up, um, I just stopped selling the information on the mobile auto detailing ended up focusing on the construction and the lawn care stuff. And they basically tie together. I mean, you'd be surprised that, you know, if you do work at one person's house, you know, if you're fixing something, you know, they're needing, you know, mulch, pine straw or whatever. And the vice versa goes true. If you're doing mulch and pine straw and stuff you know, chances are they have some repairs around the house that need fixing. So, I mean, the two businesses tied together really good. So basically I was selling these and I was just selling a simple report and I started adding more products and went up on the price. 
So to start out with, I had a PDF, just a simple downloadable report that was probably $9 or $12. I don't remember even what I priced them at now. I'd have to go back and look. But then I added an audio CD, which is, you know, they're super easy to do. I can teach anybody how to do it. Then I added DVDs, which is also a lot easier than you would think. And then we developed software to sell. So I ended up starting out with one little PDF and then grew it to have all these different products that you see now. And it's really not as hard as you would think. I mean, I can teach you guys how to do this. In addition to that, there was a couple other ways to make money. Google has what's called an AdSense program. And this is where little ads are placed on your website. And when people click on those ads, you get paid. And I'm not going to get into any dollar figures with you about what you can make with AdSense. I mean, it varies. And, you know, there's some people don't make a dollar and there's some people literally make six figures a month with AdSense. But you can make good money with it if you do it right. I've actually helped a guy locally here. Um, I'm not going to share his numbers or what he makes, but he's really happy. I, I showed him this and he put up basically a couple of websites and he's making, you know, enough money. He's really happy with it anyway. So in addition to AdSense, I added an affiliate program to some of our stuff. Now, an affiliate program, in case you don't know, it's where you can sell a product and make money. Like, I'm going to send an email out in the next few days. I've kind of dropped the ball on this in the past year or so. I stopped promoting it. But like with our software for the lawn care industry, you can sell our lawn care software by posting a link in one of the lawn care forums or sending an email to your friends or however you want to do it. And if somebody buys one of our programs, you get paid. You know, we'll pay you a percentage of the sale. And everybody does this. Amazon has an affiliate program. Walmart has an affiliate program. So you can basically make money selling other people's stuff. You don't even have to have your own product. But so I added this, you know, and it really starts to add up. If you look at the, the info products, which is the audio CD and the guide and everything, and the software we sell, and the DVDs, and then the AdSense, the little ads people click on, and then money from affiliates selling our other products, I mean, it really starts to add up pretty quick. And I can, I can show you guys, a, this is not an income statement. I'm not guaranteeing you can make anything or anything. I just want to show you this and just, you can do the math if you're thinking about coming up with a product. But um, an income example, just from some of the stuff I've had, if you've got five packages, five information package, or an information package, you sell five of a day at $47 a piece, well, that's $235. So then let's say you sell three DVDs on top of this at just $27 a piece. That's another $81. And you sell four copies of your software program that's $74 a piece. That's $296. So in addition to you selling this stuff, you have affiliates selling your products for you too. And let's say you're part of the sale and your part of the affiliate sales would be based on a 50-50 split of just making five sales. So somebody sold two of your software programs and three of your how-to packages, your part would be $144.50. And then let's say you made $75 with AdSense, people clicking on your ads every day. So are you sitting down and ready for this? Your total for the day would be $831.50. And I'm not saying this is a typical day. I'm not saying it's not a typical day. I'm just saying, look at the example here and then start to think about what could you sell? You know, what do you know about? What have you done during your life? What interests do you have? What hobbies do you have? I mean, there's people making money you just wouldn't believe. I could give you example after example of people making money selling the darndest things online. I know there was a lady making a, a small fortune at one time selling nothing but kitchen cabinet knobs. She had a website that specialized in that. I know there was a guy who had a specialty doorknob website who was selling, you know, specialty doorknobs. I know a guy that had a car wax website who until he um, stopped doing it several years ago, he got into some other stuff I think that was more lucrative, was making a small fortune selling car wax online. Now, I mean, think about that. Car wax is something you can go to AutoZone or O'Reilly's or Walmart or anywhere and buy, and this guy was making a huge income just selling this special car wax. So I just wanted to share with you guys basically how I got to where I'm at and some of the income examples. And I mean, I'm not making any income claims. I'm not saying you can make a dime online. I'm just showing you what's possible. And this is low. I mean, there's guys make six figures a month online and some make more than that. But I mean, it's just, it's just wild to think about. And you don't have to stop doing what you're doing. I mean, you can run a lawn care business or construction business, you know, and do this on the side. I mean, there's lots of people have an internet business that make more than their regular income, but they keep their regular job because they enjoy it. So 
email me. Let me know what you think or, or whatever, if you like the video or don't like the video. But I just wanted to share with you guys how I got started and where I'm at. Um, and then I'll send out another little survey and ask what you guys would like to find out about next. So thanks for watching.